Thank you very much, uh, uh, Plutarchos. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to focus uh, uh, first on Greece, given we are uh, in, uh, in, 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 in this lovely country with lots of sunshine, and uh, in Delphi, uh, where, you know, uh, lots of omens over the years have been uh, spelled out. Uh, let's, let's look at um, uh, Greece's macro environment first. Uh, following, uh, uh, you know, the, the last three years where we had uh, zero plus or minus growth in 2014, 15, and 16, for the first time the Greek economy turned to growth in 2017. Uh, real GDP increased 1.3, um, 1.4% uh, in 2017. Unemployment rate went down to 21.5%, and uh, the economic sentiment indicator has improved and climbed. Yes, it climbed to its highest uh, level in, uh, in the last three years. It's indicative yesterday, or today, I think, PMI numbers uh, have been published. For the first time uh, in the last 17 years, PMI, Purchasing Managers Index, reached 56.1 points. That's the IHS market number. So it looks like quite uh, positive from uh, a manufacturing point of view, as I say, for the first time in the last 17 years. And uh, 2017, uh, expect to have a growth of 2 to 2 point something percent, and possibly, you know, growth after that. It's necessary, of course, for the long-term sustainability of economic growth to have an agreement by all parties that are involved on medium and long-term sustainability of uh, Greek debt, which will remove a major risk factor for investors. However, we, we have to remember all that Greece is a special situation. As, as you know, Greek banks, they are still all funded, apart one from ELA, uh, and, uh, and, and that's, uh, that's uh, important. So we have to, uh, uh, to note that, uh, you know, Macroeconomic conditions are improving. Uh, they create a favorable environment for, um, uh, uh, for Europe, but also uh, for, for Greece. And uh, as far as um, you know, Greek banks are concerned, it is important to note that it's the first time that you know, they find themselves in such a positive macroeconomic environment, given you know, all the trouble and uh, and, and uh, unprecedented restructuring, consolidation, and recapitalization that uh, happened uh, the, the last few years. At least at this stage as they are, the banks are well capitalized among uh, you know, good capitalization uh, ratios in Europe. A lot of um, you know, what is going to, uh, uh, to come forward will depend on uh, the execution of the economic adjustment program and in particular the completion of the third review. Uh, and this uh, looks like that is already having a beneficial impact on uh, confidence, liquidity, and economic activity uh, in general. We have seen in uh, 2017 deposits uh, being higher uh, by 7.5 billion for the system from April until the end of the year. And uh, all four uh, international, uh, all four uh, systemic banks have reached uh, uh, to the international markets with cover bonds for the first time since uh, 2014. And ELA, which is a big number because it's emergency liquidity, is significantly down to 20 billion from 90 billion that it was in July of 2015. We are still facing uh, 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 challenges. The biggest challenge, of course, is uh, uh, to clean up the balance sheet. You know, we have agreed uh, with uh, the uh, SSM of the ECB, uh, with the SSM, uh, we have agreed uh, a, a plan uh, to reduce our NPLs. This plan is calling for about 15 billion reduction per year for the next two years, and uh, we will go down to 37% by uh, MPLs by the end of 2019. It is very important to stick to the plan, and for us, it is very important to keep our promise and deliver the plan. And actually, if, if, if we manage, and I think we could probably will, 
uh, over deliver. Uh, we have done a lot of a lot of um, uh, legal and, and institutional changes in the system. Uh, there has been a market that is being created for the NPLs as we speak. We already have 12 credit servicing uh, uh, firms that uh, will be operating in the Greek market. Uh, we, uh, uh, we ourselves uh, are in the process of selling the first package of uh, secured uh, loans. And I must tell you that we had significant interest from uh, international in investors. Uh, reputable investors that are operating in this market. And I'm very optimistic that uh, this is going to be a positive development in, uh, in the market. But uh, most importantly, uh, uh, you know, we, we have just started uh, seeing uh, the electronic auction system operating. And I must say I'm very pleased uh, from uh, the results of, uh, of uh, the first day, uh, which actually happened uh, yesterday. I consider the electronic auction as a very important tool in actually restoring the credit culture in this country. We owe it to ourselves to restore the credit culture. It has been distorted through uh, you know, the crisis years, but uh, right now I think we are in, in the right track. So auctions yesterday took place. Uh, there were 261 electronic auctions that, um, that uh, were going to take place. Uh, out of them, uh, 76 took place. 50 auctions were uh, agreed not to take place before, because the debtors came forward and they negotiated with the banks and settlement. This was never happening before. And, and the remaining auctions, they will be repeated. Next Wednesday, we have another 333 auctions. It's absolutely extremely important for the auctions to, uh, to, to take place. And, uh, uh, normality to return in, in, uh, in the economy and, uh, and, uh, and, and the credit culture to be restored. Uh, I think this is going to be one of the main reasons why, uh, together with uh, uh, the restructurings that we are doing in the NPLs and also uh, the, the write-offs that we will be naturally doing, that uh, we will be in a position to address the NPL problem uh, in, in the Greek banks for, uh, for the years to come. Before I complete, I just wanted to say uh, two words on uh, digitalization and, and, uh, and fintech. It is true that in, in our bank, 78% of transactions uh, right now are digital. So we have uh, a, a lot of um, uh, transactions going through. Uh, this has uh, uh, the effect that uh, uh, we all know we need to reduce the branches, possibly we need to, to reduce also a, a, a number of employees. Uh, however, you know, uh, digitalization have po has positive effects as well, uh, uh, possibly has a positive effect in, in, uh, in uh, some commission income being collected uh, for the banks. Generally, is something that is going to be extremely important in how the banks tackle it uh, uh, into the future. Uh, the, the most important thing that uh, the banks now uh, you know, will, need, will need to face is to be in a position to change the culture, uh, to be in a position to, uh, to make sure that they operate uh, into the new risk environment. And most of the system, all of the systemic banks in the Greek system, I believe that they are on the right track to deliver a, a, a lot of those uh, changes that we are talking about.